So let's quickly cover changing the font in DWM. And I'm specifically speaking about uh, the top bar over here. So changing those uh, fonts. So the first thing that you should do is install whatever font you like. So personally, I like the Ubuntu fonts and I've installed them since, you know, day one when I started using this PC. Um, but anyway, once you have your font installed, we go to our configuration file over here. Oh, whoops, I'm not in the directory. So, uh, let's go sources slash dwm config .h, right? Okay, so, uh, under here we have this array here called fonts. So it's just a list, right? So uh, DWM recognizes all the fonts as a list of fonts, right? So to set it, you would just first start out with the quotations, right? So open and closed here. So this is the closing quotation for, for this font here. And the first sort of parameter in it is the font name. So what font do I have? I have Ubuntu Mono. And if you want to really get the exact name of your font, we can just come over here, open a new terminal, and run fc list. We can pipe this into grep because, I mean, you may have a lot of fonts. I have a ton of fonts installed, so I grep it. Uh, whoops, I grep uh, Ubuntu. Okay. And then I pipe that into less so that I can have a scroll back feature because I don't have scrolling back in my terminal because I feel it's not necessary, right? Anyway, so in here we have our list. So the the name that you want to focus on is uh, over here after the, the TTF thing. It might work with TTF. I've never tried it, but I've found that this is the way to, to select the, the font that you want to use. So I like using the Ubuntu mono fonts. So once you get your font name, right? Just you know, copy or that, copy that or whatever. And you can come here and you can put the font name here. You can also set the style, but I think uh, I, I didn't use it because I don't really want to change to any of the other interesting styles, I guess you could say. So I just leave it as the default, which is probably regular. And then you can set other parameters, so the sizing of it. So if you don't give it a size, I think D menu, uh, not D menu, sorry, DWM sort of has some default sizing, which is probably like 10 or 9, something. I, I'm not too sure. I can't remember. But uh, it's really tiny font. So you should really set your sizing here. Then I would also recommend setting anti-aliasing so that the fonts are smooth and they look nice. You know, they're they have no jagged edges because we'll see in a second how bad it looks when you don't uh, when you don't set that so uh, another thing you have to keep in mind is that if you're using these glyphs here although you have them installed uh, you should also set the parameters for them like the size um, and the anti-aliasing because you'll see how bad they look right now after I change them so let's um, let's comment this out and I will put a random font that I saw that looks pretty bad. So it was called Adobe Times. And we won't add any parameters at all. We're just going to set one font. And we'll see how bad that looks. So let's do sudo make clean install password. I guess I got that wrong. Let's try that again. Oh, whoops. I am not in the directory. Uh, okay, cool. So, uh, if you have uh, your DWM set to restart, you can use your restart uh, shortcut, which I have here. All right, now we see that the font at the bar it's just off. It it looks pretty bad. But let's start uh, cleaning it up a little bit so we can see how big of a difference uh, it makes when you just add a few parameters to it. So let's try to change the size. So let's say size is 16. And let's say anti-alias is true. Clean uh, install. Okay. Uh, 
let's restart again. And we'll see that the fonts got bigger and they also kind of cleaned up a little bit, but they still look kind of crappy. Uh, but that's just this font. I don't really think it's good for uh, for display use like this. Uh, and we notice that our glyphs here are still tiny, right? Our um, emojis are still small. So we should go back and let's uh, put them back here. But let's take out the, the Ubuntu stuff. Okay. And that should be good. So now we'll see that the nerd fonts will also clean themselves up. Okay, sweet. All right, let's restart. So you see, it looks a lot better. Just by making a few tweaks, it's not really a lot, uh, but it, it definitely makes a big difference. So uh, let's just go back to, oops, let's go back to here. Change this back to mono then let's set auto hint to true clean install restart it again and we'll see that we're back to our good font so just making a few edits to the configuration makes a big difference uh, the most challenging part I guess is just finding a font that matches what you know your vision of your DWM install is so that may take a little bit of time but I've personally found that Ubuntu fonts are the best um, that's the one few the one of the few things that I really like about Ubuntu but um, to change it in DWM it's pretty simple uh, it doesn't take much just remember to get the font name correctly run FC list and you can get that from there and plug it in and set uh, anti-aliasing on at least and then the sizing and also make sure to set the DPI settings. I have a, a video on that which shows you how to change the DPI setting at uh, at login when you start X. So it's really useful. But that's about it for this one. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe.